uh, speaking about uh, Europe and Silicon Valley, do you think there are any particular areas in which uh, European startups can successfully compete with Silicon Valley startups? Mm, first, first, I think there's always a space to grow up uh, startups in the same space as US. Like you have a uh, US, uh, you have uh, Amazon in US, and you have uh, yeah, yeah, you have Amazon in Russia. Yes, that uh, that uh, because there's like uh, the time which w the time for the US startups to expand globally is usually a few years, and then there is a time to build similar startups in Europe. It's first. Second, I think. Uh, Gaming space is pretty strong in Europe, like you have examples in Finland. Uh, mm, I, I also think the fintech space could be strong in Europe because the banks in Europe are pretty well developed, the financial sector is pretty well developed, and I think this is the kind of sector which, will be, which could be also very successful in Europe. I also think maybe for e-commerce, because the US is really dominated by Amazon, and that will probably the, that will create a situation where there will be less innovation in e-commerce, and I don't think Europe will be so much dominated by Amazon because it's very much fragmented, etc. And the countries where Amazon is completely not present, that I think it will allow uh, startups to, to play much more, much bigger role in in in, in e-commerce. That probably e-commerce could be also quite successful. I, I think the the biggest the biggest challenge which is with with digital media and with ad tech. Yes, I think that that areas where probably U.S. and social networking, that where U.S. companies have more reasons to really be dominating worldwide, yes. Okay. Hmm? And uh, have you already had a chance to take a look at the startups that are presenting uh, at IDC? I, I met a couple, couple of them, not all. I still need to make a, uh, to make a, to make a kind of uh, route around all these all this moves there. But. And what's your, what's your general impression of, uh, of the startups uh, from uh, Central and Eastern Europe and Ukraine in particular? Mm, I, I don't think I, I know enough to, to judge, but I think uh, this is really, really, really a uh, hot conference. And I, I think this is like yesterday, last year I visited Pioneer Festival in, in, in Vienna, and I think this conference seems to be much more hotter. But I, 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 think, I think in these countries like, like, like Ukraine and Belarus, you, you, it could be because you, you need a crazy environment to get a super successful companies, yes, and I think uh, this kind of crazy environment exists here. <laughs> the, the, it exists much less in the very well organized uh, countries like uh, Western Europe, and uh, I think it could make sense that, uh, and, and especially in Russia, you see the global champions trend, yes, you see the reputable global champions companies, ki kind of companies, that I think uh, it, could be, it could be a number of interesting people which com comes here shows that that there is a belief that the, the interesting companies will be created in this, in this part of the world. Yes, I'm not mentioning if, if it's Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, etc., because I, I, I don't have enough knowledge about this, this region. But uh, and I, I was very, very, very well impressed by Kiev. I was in Kiev six years ago, and uh, and uh, that's this time difference. Uh, I mean, I expected to see city in much worst. Uh, like, uh, like, not, 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 uh, not giving such a great, great impression, and it was really positive uh, surprise for me. CE, CE the, the the core CE says Poland, Baltics, uh, Czech. Uh, uh, there is a startup market, uh, the, uh, but there are also lots of funds penetrating that market, and uh, and uh, we are not super excited by the current situation, to be honest. And. Uh, we are doing early stage investments. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if it's really startups. So I think it's a little bit more than startups what we're doing. But, uh, but, uh, but definitely, if you want to have a quick success, I think the East Europe, like Ukraine, Russia, is, is probably easier yeah, than Central Eastern Europe at the moment because the valuation expectations, the competition of supply, demand situation, it, it's, it's making our job for early stage investments much more difficult for Central Eastern Europe. Yeah. Do you get many applications from uh, from the Eastern European countries? Mm, we get some, but but the way we work, we we are rather uh, active in the other side. Like we are we are finding the interesting targets, not th interesting targets are finding us. It's very rare where, where we have a situation that that uh, we, we 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 select interesting company via applications. It's usually we are finding the interesting. Uh, Interesting, uh, interesting, uh, interesting investments. Is this one of the reasons you come here to yeah. to hunt uh, some down some interest in? Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's uh, that's the way we operate, and uh, and we are also talking to other investors. We usually invest after somebody. It's, we are not the first 
first investor into the, the companies that we are getting a lot of leads through other co-investors which are much more local yes like we are not very local we are more regional that basically we don't have local presence that we rather need to invest after the, an early stage investor so basically you use uh, use the existing local investors like as some kind of guidance yes yes that's that's very very important uh, fact that makes this type of investments much much easier for us if there's no uh, first investor it's it's usually very diff it's much more difficult for us to make an investment yeah